everybody. We're back here with Stacey Abrams on the eve of the Georgia election. Once this uh, election is over, um, what's next? Is the success that y'all have had in Georgia replicable in other states, or is this very something very specific to a southern state that also has a large urban population that's that's growing, like Atlanta? I mean, Georgia is uniquely positioned as a battleground state. We have the most diverse electorate with a high concentration not only of African-American voters, but Latino voters and Asian voters. But what we saw in Arizona shows that this is something that can happen across the Sun Belt. It's not gonna happen overnight. Demography tends to precede electoral changes, but I do believe it's possible to build the infrastructure we built here in Georgia and other states. I think it's possible to engage voters who are usually left out of the process in other states. And I think it's possible for us to win in other states if we do the work of investing organizing and mobilizing our voters. Well, you've spent the last couple of years um, <clears throat> throwing all your focus at mobilizing voters and helping other candidates. What's next for you? Are you gonna take another run at governor in 2022? I am focused on January 5th. That is where I'm looking and I'm not looking any further ahead because mm -hmm. what we do next really depends on what we can accomplish in this race. Let me look ahead for you. Oh, past January 5th. Oh, there's an election in 2022. Do you have any interest in that? I'm sorry, I can't see that far. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Wanna use mine? There you go. There you go. That's a yes, that's a yes. I'll take that, I'll, I'll mark you down for yes. There you go. Now I know that Star Trek is uh, a, um, a cultural home for you. It is for me as well. Um, nothing against Star Wars, but this Star Trek was the original for me. Is there is there any is there any story is there any is there any lesson from Star Trek that you could draw from right now? So I'm drawing from the series Star Trek Voyager. It was a ship sent on a mission. They got thrown off course, and they were seventy told it would take seventy five years to reach their goal. They got there in seven. I like the odds. Wow, is that is that um, Captain Janeway? That is Captain Janeway. Yes, she's my favorite. There you go. Come on, deep cut. Captain Janeway, not everybody can do that. <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> I, I want to talk about Georgia for just a moment here. One of the things that the president talks about in that um, recording, in that sort of, in that shakedown that he does, is that he finds it shocking that people leave Georgia and then come back. Because he's trying to make the case that this had to be illegal voting. People left and they, they, they were registered to vote. But they explained to him that, no, no, people left, but then they decided to come back yeah. to Georgia and actually vote there. Um, why is Georgia, as, 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 a, as a citizen of Georgia, why is it so proverbial that people go back? As I was, I was saying in the first act, you got uh, uh, Midnight Train to Georgia, you got Georgia on my mind, you got uh, a walk-in back to Georgia, even the devil went down to Georgia. What is it about Georgia that just has a grip on people? Clearly, we're open to everyone. But what I love about Georgia is you've got every climate, you've got every topography, but more importantly, you've got good people and amazing food, amazing artists. And Georgia's just the place to be. Plus, you know, there are a lot of folks who get lost on their way to Florida. Georgia's a great place to stop and, and just forget to keep driving. Sure, sure, actually. What goes through, what is it, I-75? What goes through Georgia? We get 75, 85, and you can take 20 across. All right. We are the crossroads of the world. A lot of great rest stops. <laughs> um, you do know, just and not just because I'm from South Carolina, you do know that South Carolina produces more peaches than Georgia, right? You're aware of this. We, we do. We just engage in our misinformation uh, because if we call ourselves the peach state, they won't pay attention to what you guys actually produce. <laughs> it, it's all a big conspiracy. <laughs> I'll call you about it. Please do. Please do. Please do. Well, please remember to vote tomorrow if you live in Georgia. It's Stacey Abrams, everybody. We'll be right back Peach with RuPaul. Vote. Thank you.